By far, that this is the largest mass of eggs we've seen in Collier. Oh, this is freaking me out. And all these eggs came out of one Burmese python, the Conservancy of Southwest Florida, performing a necropsy on this 17-footer caught in the Everglades. It's given us an idea of just how many eggs one of these bad boys or girls, an invasive snake, can lay in just one season, and then they wreck the ecosystem. Four Inner Corners, Carl Forte has more on how these pythons are affecting local wildlife and how biologists are tracking them all down. Carl? Well, biologists say that the range of the pythons is expanding and that their population is well into the thousands. They say that just 10 years ago, they couldn't have imagined having to hunt so many of the big snakes in the Everglades. These animals are having a tremendous impact on our native wildlife. That native wildlife includes everything from rabbits and foxes to even bigger prey. Biologist Ian Bartasek of the Conservancy of Southwest Florida says there isn't much that Burmese pythons won't eat. We've seen everything from um, small pythons eating wading birds and rodents to um, actually pythons smaller than this size class eating deer. He and biologists Jamie Kittle and Ian Easterling captured most of these five females by radio tagging a male python. Another tagged male led to an even bigger catch. We gave his score count 12, 13 snakes that he led us to. Jamie and Ian cut open the biggest python, 17 feet long, to see how many eggs she could have laid. They found 95 from one snake. These would have all been future pythons this season. Look at them all. It's just, this is an egg laying machine. Yikes. By far, that this is the largest mass of eggs we've seen in Collier. He says this female was clearly eating very well to put that much energy into creating those eggs. He hopes radio tagging will help them find more breeding females, which are put down humanely. They're here. They are expanding through the greater Everglades ecosystem. I believe the range of the wild Burmese python population is north of Lake Okeechobee now, to my knowledge. Now, Bartasek says that native species of snake are often confused with smaller pythons, so if you see one, don't kill it on first sight. Take a photo, note your location, and call the FWC's exotic species hotline at 1-888-I've-GOT-ONE. In Naples, Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner.